Hello and welcome to Till Vacuum Doers Part. If you're new, my name is Ashley. Today we're going to be getting straight into this entire house cleaning video. So if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. And if you enjoyed today's video, definitely give it a thumbs up. But let's get to cleaning. So I'm gonna start off in my master bedroom today. I'm just gonna kinda of open the blinds. My bed is already made. I like to make that before I get in the shower and get ready for the day. I just kinda of have a routine and I'm probably gonna be talking about that in the near future if you guys kinda of wanna know my morning routine and what keeps me um, productive throughout the morning and the day. But I'm just going around fluffing pillows, picking up blankets, just kinda of putting everything back in its home. I'm also gonna do a real quick vacuum. Um, I've been vacuuming my bedroom every morning just because George is shedding right now and Chase is having a hard time just with his allergies from him. And George does sleep in our room and he moves around a lot. So I like to just go ahead and vacuum up as much as possible just to kind of prevent it just from getting overwhelming in there. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about my vacuum lately and it's just the LG cordless. There's only one version of it. It does come in all different colors, but I keep getting asked that, so I wanted to address it for you guys. Okay, and here is the final look at how the room turned out. Um, I always get asked a lot why I clean a clean house, and so I've been thinking about like how can I describe that to you guys, or how can I explain why I do what I do. And just as an example, it's kind of like working out or being like living a healthy lifestyle. It's easier just to maintain and make smart choices as you go versus getting really overweight and having to work really hard to get back into shape. That's kind of how I dress my cleaning. I could wait a few weeks or a month and just like spend hours cleaning my house or I can just spend a few minutes in every room um, once a week just kind of deep cleaning it and getting it back where it needs to be. So I literally clean my house every day. So yes, I will always be cleaning a clean house, but I feel like it's just faster and quicker that way and it just makes life a little easier on us here. So now I'm just working on my vanity. This is a space that does have to get wiped down every single week. Um, it's probably one of the dirtiest spaces in my house just because there's makeup there. I really need to clean out the drawers. They've gotten so bagged. So I think you guys will be seeing a good like deep clutter and organize very soon on my channel because I've got a lot of spaces that have just gotten out of control. Um, and then I'm heading into my bathroom right here in my beauty room. I'm not going to do a real deep clean, but I feel like if I go in there just a couple times a week and wipe down the mirror and the countertops, it stays pretty clean. These Dollar Tree like disinfectant wipes are one of my favorite cleaning products. They're just really cheap. You can disinfect. Plus it's just easy to do a speed clean real fast. So if people are about to come over or you only have a few minutes to clean, maybe while your baby's napping, you can just pull them out and wipe everything down and then throw it in the trash. So I feel like it just helps you clean faster um, when you need to and it's disinfecting at the same time. So like I mentioned, those are just from the Dollar Tree. So you get that whole container for a dollar and they don't dry out. Typically when I get to the last two, I have to like wring them out because they're so wet. So I feel like that's a really good product to have. Now I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum in here. Um, vacuuming is something else that I do daily, sometimes multiple times a day. Um, it's very calming to me, just even the process of like putting lines on the carpet, that may be really weird, but I like it. And then when I'm finished and I'm walking through my house and I walk past a room that is nicely vacuumed and has lines, it's just very calming to me. So is a clean house, so that's another reason you don't see a lot of clutter or stuff in my home. Um, everything has a place that it goes to and it really has helped me 
so much just as a person and not being stressed out as a mom. So if you feel like you're super stressed and always cleaning and moving stuff around, try decluttering because I think you will feel so much better. Now here's a final look at how my beauty room turned out. Now I'm gonna head into our kitchen. There's a little bit more out in this room. We had had breakfast and Savannah had been doing her homeschool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw our bags away and put away the laptop and the mouse and just put everything in its home before I start the cleaning. Okay, now I'm gonna work on getting the dishwasher unloaded. I try to do this as early in the day as possible. The later it goes, obviously my sink gets more full throughout the day and the more my sink gets full, <laughs> the less motivation I have to go in the kitchen and get things done. So if I can just stay on top of my chores, so when I'm done with breakfast, go ahead and clear out the dishwasher, then as things get dirty all day, our dishes, our plates, I can just put them straight into the dishwasher and then run them that night. So that's my theory. It's really what works best when I stay to that routine. My kitchen stays so much cleaner, but as I get out of that routine and my sink starts getting full of dirty dishes, it just gets fuller and fuller because I don't want to deal with it. So if you can just kind of nip things in the bud, it really does help the process. Okay, while you guys are watching me unload the dishwasher, it was a pretty full load, so it took me a little bit that particular morning. But I wanted to let you guys know that this Wednesday, I'm gonna be posting my clean and decorate with me for Valentine's Day. And I know you guys always enjoy that video and just kind of love seeing pink throughout my house. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, and if you're new here, definitely subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. You'll be seeing about two to three videos a week. Um, there's gonna be a few weeks I'm adding videos I did last week and then the next week I have a bonus video so I like for you guys to be subscribed so when I'm posting those bonus videos you are alerted about them And another reminder, um, my husband and I actually have a vlog channel as well that we post two times a week on. So definitely make sure you're subscribed to that and you will get lots of content throughout your week. Um, the link is always down below in my description box. Now I'm gonna go ahead and scrub out my sink and get it nice and clean. Anytime there's been dirty dishes in there and I load them into the dishwasher, I like to go ahead and just clean it to make sure there's no leftover food. I feel like the sink can hold a lot of smell and odor and nobody wants their house smelling bad, especially when you have open floor plans. So to me, it's just worth it to go ahead and just clean it out and get it nice and shiny.
Now I'm gonna take my Jaws glass cleaner to kind of spray in there and wipe it out. I like my sink to be dry and shiny. So I use like a dish soap to clean it with a sponge. And then I take the Jaws glass cleaner to spray it out so that I can wipe it all clean. And so there's no like streaks, there's no water spots. Plus it's nice and shiny since I'm using the glass cleaner. If you've never done that, definitely try it out. It makes your kitchen feel so much cleaner. It's kind of like the vacuum lines with the carpet. Now I'm gonna take my Jaws granite cleaner to clean off my granite countertops. When it comes to cleaners, I love granite cleaners. I really do. Jaws has an amazing one. Um, I used to use Method. I don't use it that often. I still have a bottle below my sink that I occasionally use just because I haven't finished it up. Um, I also love using like the Young Living Thieves Spray. So I feel like there's so many options to make cleaning just a little bit more fun. If you can find a scent you like, it really does make cleaning a little bit more enjoyable because you know your kitchen's gonna smell amazing when you're done so definitely take some time and try out some different products that you haven't if you're having a hard time getting motivation to clean because you'd be surprised how much cleaning products really can make it a little more fun So every time I clean off my countertops, I feel like I have to spray down my table and clean it as well, even if it's clean. Does anybody else do that? I think because I want the whole kitchen like nice and shiny and fresh, but do you guys ever clean things that are already clean or is that just me? Now I'm gonna wipe down my clear chairs and I will always get questions about these. Like, do they stay really dirty? Do they show a lot of fingerprints? I feel like they hold up really well for being like, you know, clear. Um, they do get fingerprints, but you don't notice them like you think you would. And when I go to clean them, I just use my glass cleaner and they clean up really well. I feel like they are a nice chair for kids if you still have toddlers that are eating and you still want like a pretty chair for your dining room. Because if they do spill something or if their hands are sticky, these are so easy to wipe down versus your upholster chairs. So super kid friendly. Okay, let's all take a moment and just look at Tiger. He is so funny. He just is kind of like a little statue over there standing on the arm of the sectional. So you can tell I'm just cleaning the wood surfaces and for whatever reason, he's hanging out over there. I'm gonna work on our cushions, these poor things. Um, Tiger likes to sit at the very top and look out the front window, but he's like, you know, seven pounds dripping wet, but George is like 50 plus pounds. We don't even know currently, but he's getting so big, but he wants to do what Bubba does. So he'll lay up there and look out and he just like smashes them and knocks them over. So I'm just kind of going through the sectional and straightening it up. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on vacuuming our wood floors. I'm not gonna lie, I cannot keep these things clean. I've mentioned right now with our grass dying out, it's always harder to keep our wood floors clean because if you go outside and come in, it like comes in with you. But normally you're not outside that much in the winter, but it's been so warm here lately and so nice. Typically it's like icy, snowy, rainy, and it has just been warm and beautiful. So between like Savannah running in and out, and the boys 
coming in and out. It has just stayed so dirty. I'm even like sweeping a few times a day like with an actual broom just to like change it up and make it different. I forgot how much I enjoy like sweeping with a broom. I don't know. It's been a while since I've had my cordless vacuum because I don't even think to do it now, but I have enjoyed doing that. If you're like remodeling or building a home, I just want to suggest stay away from dark, shiny wood floors. Um, they are beautiful, <laughs> but I would either get them not as dark or not as shiny. They are gorgeous when they're clean, but that rarely happens. Like I have to vacuum three times a day and mop twice a day. So it's just not worth it. My mom has more of a gray tone and they're less shiny and they're gorgeous and they never look dirty. And I know I clean my floors way more often. So definitely just think about that before you install dark, shiny wood floors. <laughs> I mentioned before I need to declutter my vanity desk and my beauty room. Those two doors you see down there in the hallway is like Savannah's um, craft closet, homeschool room. I've got all sorts of stuff in there. It is a disaster. Um, I feel like I have to do that probably every four months or so, just go through it. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be filming a declutter and organize with me and that is one of the spaces, so be on the lookout. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and mop these floors before I move on. Um, so I like to clean with water. This is a special mop. It's an e-cloth mop and it cleans my floors using only water. Love, love, love it. But a few times a year, I like to use more of a conditioner on my wood floors just so they don't dry out. So if you guys have any suggestions that you use on your wood floors, not often, like I don't wanna do it every single time, but I feel like I like to like nourish my wood sometimes, let me know what you use down below in the description box. You want me to take you in my truck. Okay, and then here is a quick look at how both spaces turned out after I cleaned them. You know there's a motion between us. You want me to take you in my trust. Now I'm gonna head into this bathroom and I'm gonna clean it a little bit deeper than I did my bathroom. This is Savannah's bathroom, so I feel like it gets a little bit dirtier. I feel like kids are just a little bit harder on bathrooms with toothpaste and different things. Plus it's our guest bathroom, so I like to keep it clean. I'm just using a vinegar-based glass cleaner um, on my mirror. 
pretty much all my bathroom cleaners are from the Dollar Tree. Sometimes I will use Jaws in there if I'm wanting like the non-toxic thing, but sometimes I just don't mind. But I do keep Dollar Tree products underneath all my sinks, so when I need to clean it quickly, they're all there and ready to go. Um, I really love Dollar Tree products. I think they do really well. So like I said, I'm cleaning the mirror with it. And then those are my Dollar Tree wipes that I'm gonna use to wipe down my countertops. And then I'm gonna clean the toilet here in a second. And I also use a dollar clean like toilet bowl cleaner as well and I've never had any issues. So I also get asked a lot why I don't show me cleaning the master bathroom all that much and it's because I really don't. Um, we have three bathrooms in our house and three people and so I keep Savannah's bathroom clean and my beauty room bathroom clean but Chase for the most part cleans his bathroom because he's the only one in there. So sometimes I'll go in there and do a deep clean and film it but typically he's the one keeping that up since I'm not really in there. And here is a final look at Savannah's bathroom. Okay guys, and that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Definitely make sure you're subscribed. Wednesday, I'll have my decorate and clean with me for Valentine's Day. And you guys always love seeing a little pop of color in this house because there's not much. And then I'll have vlogs going up this week over on our vlog channel. So definitely make sure you're subscribed to both of these right here. Just click on them to get subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.